Welcome back fans and family, friends, and people who hate me. I love you too. <laughs> um, welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. This one is just a simple recipe. I'm making some bread to go along with our pepper soup. And the cool thing is, is I'm using another box seed pan. So box Eki has all kinds of pans that have silicone attachments. This one is their muffin pan. It has silicone little washable, reusable muffin cups. So they have this cute little six pan with um, silicone edges so when you lift it up, you could probably touch it with your hands when you bring it out of the oven. So we're gonna just make something really basic. I'm just gonna make some corn uh, bread muffins and I'm just gonna put a little jalapeno on the top and maybe a couple black beans to make it look pretty So what are we gonna need for this recipe? Well the cheapest bread recipes out there other than making your own cornbread is Jiffy's corn muffin mix. It requires just an egg and um, some milk We got some egg And we got milk and it only calls for a third of a cup of milk um, I'm using powdered milk that's been reconstituted with some water. Uh, some black beans, which I'm not going to use, but a few out of the can. Some jalapenos. And I've got a small bowl for mixing. So we've got our Jiffy mix. It's been around for generations. I remember old, old commercials for this stuff. But it's a great go-to. I think the box boxes that they sell in the store are like 89 cents or they're like less than a dollar. So I'm just going to dump that in a bowl. And it still has a good flavor. I mean, you can make your own in, you know, muffins by just adding this to your muffins. I mean, it's really easy to make cornbread anyway. It's like equal parts. So then I'm just going to dump the milk in. I'm going to crack the egg. Stir it up until it's all together. Yay! It's all stirred. Over mixing is the key to not to having hard muffins. So if you don't want to have hard muffins, don't over mix it. And then I'm just going to dollop that in here. You don't even need to have um, stick stuff in here because of the silicone. They're, they're just naturally non-stick pans. So I'm just going to evenly scoop this into each one of my little muffin holders here. One jalapeno per muffin. Oh, isn't that just cute? And I love my jalapenos. Mm. Those are spicy ones too. Ooh. And then I'm going to open my little black beans. And I'm just going to take a couple beans out and just place a couple on top. I've got my oven set to 400 degrees and I'm going to let it warm up a little bit. Fitz likes beans too. Beans, beans, the more you eat. What is that? Beans, beans, they make you too, or how does that go? Can you remember? Oh, I know. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans at every meal. <laughs> All right, look at that. All right, I'm just going to stick that in the oven and let it cook until it's done. Now the muffin mix says that it cooks for about 400 degrees. 15 to 20 minutes, if I could read right. Wow, that was a good choice to put some jalapeno in my beer. So our corn muffins are done. All right. Burned my finger, almost dropped the pan, <laughs> but we're good. All right, look at our beautiful muffins. Jiffy Puff Muffins. Like I said, we were making these for our pepper soup, which we tried in a previous video. You can go back to our YouTube channel and search for our pepper soup. 
Um, these are the coolest pans ever, these boxy key pans. Heard a rumor that they might be doing another giveaway. Um, so remember the gift-a-thon that Boxiki was doing. Um, we were using Boxiki pans and another thing, and we gave you a, an email address to, well, a link so that you can go and apply for winning that. So we had a winner. Her name is Arlene Lassiter. So awesome that she won. Uh, they wanted me to announce to all my subscribers that Arlene, you're the big winner of the boxy key pans. You should be getting them in the mail. They're probably going to send you an email, um, or maybe you've already received the pans. Box icky, these little cute muffin tins with the little connected thing. Anyway, I made these just to go along with um, my soup. Super easy to get out. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Like whoever has muffins, little tiny cute muffins, come out of these little silicone wrappers that are super easy to wash. And I'm just going to cut it in half and add a little butter. Hot bread. I think that's another recipe I need to do is my homemade um, cinnamon rolls. Mmm. That is good. Mm. If you're away at college and you miss your mom's cornbread, just go to the store and get one of these mixes. You want an easy cleanup for your muffins? They have many sizes of muffin pans and you can go to Amazon or BoxEeky.com and order your own pans. I love cornbread, cornbread muffins, and you can look at my other recipes of cornbread waffles, southwestern style. There's so many ways to make cornbread. This is just one of them. Join me next time for another great recipe. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye, y'all.